In this video, I'm going to go through my list of the 10 most commonly mispronounced English words. If English is not your native language, you may be pronouncing some of our really common words incorrectly. If you want to speak English so that everyone understands what you say the first time, it's important to pronounce these super common words correctly. In this video, I'll be giving you the American English pronunciation for 10 really common English words that are very often mispronounced by people who speak English as a second language. I have chosen the following words based on my experience working with non-native English speakers over the years. For each of the 10 words listed, I have created a detailed video to teach you exactly how to pronounce the word and each of its difficult sounds. If you'd like to see a video for any of the words in this list, you'll find them in my Difficult to Pronounce Words playlist. First, I'll start with the least complicated words, and I'll work up to the harder ones with the last ones being the most difficult. So my list starts with number 10 and counts down to number one, which I consider the most difficult common word to pronounce. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. I put out a new one every Friday. Now, the first three words on this list are relatively easy to pronounce. The issue many people have is that these words have silent letters. Number 10. Island. The only tricky thing about this word is that it has a silent S. Pronounce it like this. Island. And the A in land is pronounced as a schwa, since land is in a weak syllable. If you're not familiar with the schwa, please check out my video on that as well. Number nine, wood. This word also has a silent letter. It has a silent L. In addition, the OU is pronounced like the OO in the words book, or good. The word sounds identical to the word wood spelled W-O-O-D. So pronounce it wood. Number eight, whole. Whole has a silent W. This word is pronounced exactly the same as whole spelled H-O-L-E. In addition, there is one other tricky part, the pronunciation of the L. It is both a dark L and a syllabic L. A dark L is used after vowel sounds in English. For this L variety, the back of your tongue, as well as the tip, needs to touch the roof of your mouth. The easiest way to do this is to just Close your mouth when you say the L sound, so your whole tongue touches the roof of your mouth. In addition, the L here forms an extra syllable by itself, even though it has no vowel with it. So whole sounds like two syllables, whole, whole. If you're not familiar with the dark L, I suggest watching my video on this topic. It's an important sound you need to master for accurate English pronunciation. The next two words look a lot more difficult than they are to pronounce, but the good news is they're really very easy. Number seven, pizza. How do you pronounce a double Z in English? That's something you don't see very often. This word really isn't too hard. The first syllable sounds like the name Pete, P-E-T-E. -E. And the second syllable is pronounced like S-U in sun, sa. It sounds like this, pizza, 
pizza. There are no Z sounds at all in that word. Number six, close. This word is much more difficult in British English than in American English, but lucky for you, we're talking about American English today. The pronunciation is super easy. It's exactly the same as close, as in close the door, C-L-O-S-E. Notice you do not need to pronounce the TH sound at all in this word. There is one thing that you need to note, however, that in both the word close, as in close the door, and close, as in shirt or pants, the S at the end is voiced, right? You need to turn on your vocal cords here in your throat. So the S is pronounced as a Z, close, close. The words in the next group are probably truly hard to pronounce for you because they contain sounds that are usually problematic for people whose native language is not English. And sometimes there are even two or three problem sounds within the word. With a little instruction and a lot of practice, you can learn to say each of these correctly. Number five. Water. Several non-native speakers living in the United States have asked me how to pronounce this word. They tell me that when they ask for water in a restaurant, their server never understands what they want. If you're in North America, make sure not to use the British pronunciation with its hard T and its missing R at the end. The middle T in this word is pronounced as a D, a softer sound, and make sure that you fully pronounce the er at the end of the word. This very American er sound is so fundamental to correct pronunciation. If you're not pronouncing it correctly, it will give you a heavy accent. Or worse, it may make many of your words unintelligible. Note that the last five words in this list include this common sound. Spend some time to master it. If you haven't yet, please check out my er video. Number four, tired. This is a weird one. It's similar to whole above in that it contains a syllabic consonant. The R here forms a syllable by itself even though it has no vowel sound with it. And don't be fooled by the ED ending. We usually don't pronounce the E in that ending, so that is not considered a vowel to include in that syllable. Pronounce this word like this. Tired. Tired. There's that ER again, and it's followed immediately by a D. Make sure you don't forget to pronounce both sounds in the ending. Blend them together smoothly. Erd, erd, tired. Number three, theater. You may think that the TH is the most difficult sound in this word, but it's more complicated than that. This word has three syllables. Make sure that the first syllable is stressed. Say it louder and longer than the others. Reduce the A in the middle to a fast, quiet schwa and fully pronounce the er sound at the end. There it is again, that er sound. Look how common it is. And one more thing, the T is a flap. Pronounce it as a D. Say it like this. Theater. Theater. Number two. Girl. I know so many people have a problem with this word. So much so that they often try to avoid the word by using lady or woman or daughter instead. But don't worry, you'll learn how to pronounce it in just a moment. 
What gives people a lot of problem here is the combination of the er followed by the l. Note that l is also a syllabic l, meaning that it forms a syllable by itself. So this word will sound like two syllables, girl. To pronounce this l correctly, put your entire tongue to the roof of your mouth. Usually, when an L comes at the beginning of words, you pronounce it with just the front of your tongue, like this, love or light. When you pronounce an L that comes after vowels, you need to raise the back of your tongue also. So it needs to sound like this, la, la. So let's try it all out here. Girl, girl. And finally, we have arrived at number one, which I believe is the most difficult word to pronounce. And it is world. This may be the hardest common word for many non-native speakers. It's really similar to girl. It has exactly the same two issues with the er and the l. But then it adds another issue. You need to add another consonant sound to the end of the word. And ending consonants, especially clusters, can be a big challenge for many non-native English speakers. Fortunately, adding a D sound to an L sound is not so difficult because your tongue tip is in the same place for both the L and the D. They are right here behind your upper front teeth. Just make sure to smoothly blend these two sounds together. Pronounce it like this. World. World. And there you have it. 10 difficult sounds. Now you know how to pronounce them. Are these words difficult for you? What common English words would you add to the list of the most difficult to pronounce? Please let me know in the comments section below so I can include them in future videos. Thanks for watching.